Guys, all the cars that you see in these videos are for sale on my website, www.woodsandbarclay.com. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is part two in the video series of the 1983 300 SD. Uh, guys, you saw me pick this up in Louisiana. This car has 33,000 miles on it. I've actually never seen a 300 SD in this original mint condition. This is the nicest 300 SD I've ever seen. I mean, the, the interior is immaculate. The engine compartment, all the zinc plating is still there. It's just amazing. So today I want to put it up on the lift and I want to take a look at underneath this car and see if we're going to have to do anything. I mean, with 33,000 miles, I'm guessing ball joints. That's probably it. You know, the boots on the ball joints will probably be just deteriorated. But other than that, I don't know if we're going to see anything. So let's get this car up on the lift and take a look. Guys, just, just look at how mint this car is. Like the, the bumper, the headlight bezels, the original grill, the astral silver paint. It's, it's just incredible. Um, like, like all the uh, anodized aluminum trim around the doors. You can see how bright it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, you've seen the inside. It's on the it's, the lift post is in the way, guys, so it's hard for me to open the door. Uh, but you guys uh, saw when I picked it up, the, the interior is just incredible condition. It looks brand new. Here, I can at least uh, open up the back door here. Um, there we go. Let's go around here. There we go. Look at, look at like the wood trim. It looks amazing. Yeah, the bunt wheels are just absolutely incredible. It, it's like mint condition. So let's go ahead and get it up on the lift and look underneath here. Guys, before we get it up there on the lift, I just want to show you guys this engine compartment. I haven't cleaned anything. This is 100% original. This is remarkable condition. I may have seen one other 300 SD in this condition, but I mean, this is just incredible. Look at that. Here, let me back up a little bit so you guys can see that. That's what a 33,000 mile garage kept vehicle looks like. All the zinc plating is on every little bolt. It's even on the shock towers, all the clips around the air cleaner housing, the EGR. And I can see it was being serviced. I see where uh, these little vacuum lines right here, the little rubber connectors were replaced. Yeah, they're just absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and get this thing up on the lift and look at the undercarriage. <laughs> Guys, before I go under the car, I just want you guys to see in these wheel wells, check that out. I mean, it looks brand new. All the plastic covers are intact. The upper control arm looks like it was just installed. That's crazy. Yeah, just incredible. So all the cladding along here, and the anodized aluminum trim, it's, it's perfect. <clears throat> the paint down here, it was like that gray primer color is still like perfectly all intact. The jack points are perfect condition. I think this might be the nicest 300 SD that I have ever found, you guys. I mean, look in there. It's, there's not even a speck of dirt up in there. It's beautiful. The rear bumper. Tail light bezels. Yeah, I can't wait to see underneath here. Let's just quickly finish the inspection around here. There's not even a rock chip or anywhere back here. Wow, look at that. All the covers are still in place on the bumper. The bunt wheels, I mean, that looks like a brand new bunt wheel. Let's go check this one up here. Wow. 
Look, it still has the zinc plating on the, some of the suspension parts here. The drain hose is perfect condition. The upper control arm, look at that. The zinc plating is still on the upper control arm sway bar uh, bushing. This is like the retaining plate. Let's see over here. Yeah, it's even on that one. There's the factory marking where they torqued it down. That is wild. Look at the condition. The bushings are perfect. That looks like a, it looks new. All right, let's, I, I got to get this thing up on the lift. We got to go underneath here. So let's raise it up a little more. Okay, let's go ahead and look under here. Uh, so the first area I always look. Oh my God, look how clean that is. Wow, look at all the brackets in here. And the bolts, they're all perfectly zinc plated. There's a uh, new compressor on here. Even the zinc plating is on the oil cooler line. That is remarkable. Wow, look at the oil pan. The zinc plating's on all the little bolts. Ah, yep, sure enough, I was right. See that ball joint boot? See how it's started to come apart there? It's always the ball joint boots that uh, deteriorate. There's a lot of wear that goes on right there. So we're gonna replace this ball joint. Let's see if this one, look at that one. That one's still barely hanging in there. That's the original ball joint. See the little cracks in the boot? There we go, see the little cracks in the original boot right there? So we'll change the ball joints for sure. Wow, check that out. The zinc plating is still on. These are the plates for the uh, control rod bushing housing. These plates go up and cover the bushings. I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen maybe once where this zinc plating is still on here. Guys, this is the cleanest, most original 300 SD I've ever seen. And that is saying a lot because I've seen some of the nicest in the country. Um, oh, there's new brake lines. Check that out. So as part of the regular service, they went ahead and installed brand new brake lines. Yep, there's a new brake line over here too. Well, wow, look at the shock, all the original markings. I mean the spring. You can still see all the original markings on the spring. Um, check this out. This is your uh, brake pad wear sensor line. And normally these are all cracked and brittle. That's a, that's a sheath or a, that, that covers the actual wires. And this is just flawless condition. There's the cavity wax, our cosmoline that's dripping out of here. Wow, even the engine mounts look new. There's the engine shocks. Look at the zinc plating on everything. Um, this is remarkable. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen a car in this condition, an original 300 SD in this condition. That transmission mount has been replaced. That's too perfect. There's not a single crack anywhere in that. Yeah, that has to have been replaced. Wow, the exhaust is fantastic. Just has some very mild surface rust. That's normal. Let's look back here. Oh, nice. New brake lines. Wow, look at the boots. The axle boots. And look, there's all the original markings on the spring. There's the... uh cosmoline or the, the cavity wax spray up in here <clears throat> oh i see where they did uh there's some new uh fuel lines that were installed the originals were probably dripping yep there's a new one right there too so this was being well serviced that's awesome yep, yep new brake line look the zinc plating is still on the sway bar bushing uh clamp that holds it in there and there's the original muffler I'm going to just keep saying it, guys. Nicest original condition 300 SD I've ever seen. I mean, 33,000 miles. What would you expect? That's awesome. I literally see nothing that needs to be touched under here. Look how clean it is back in here around the muffler and up in this area. There's the cavity wax or cosmoline is all in here. This is crazy good condition. Wow, check that out. So clean. I'm just looking at the axle boots over here. They're, uh, they're like perfect condition. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. There's all your factory markings on the original spring. Normally all this stuff is like covered up in dirt, guys. 
it's just uh, remarkable. Even all the original paint is still on the lower control arms uh, or the rear trailing arms. Look at that. I always refinish these, but that's the original semi-gloss paint. Just beautiful condition. Just checking out the flex disc here. I mean, uh, it's perfect. It's fine. No, nothing wrong with the flex disc or the bushings back here. The body bushings, it's all still soft. Yeah, that's just remarkable. Look, the, the plating is still on all the bolts back here. There's your steering box. Look how shiny everything is up in there. No oil. Look how clean the side of the uh, engine block. That's the lower oil pan. Look how clean it is under here. It's just remarkable condition. Um, yeah, look at the oil cooler lines. Just beautiful condition. Wow, even the hoses look new. I don't know, those may have been replaced. I see uh, a new voltage regulator was installed on the back of the alternator. That's nice. Engine shocks. Oil drain back from the turbo or from the air filter housing. I'm sorry, no, that's from the turbo. Uh, that grommet is still soft. There's no oil up in here. Look, there's not even any oil on the engine. That's pretty remarkable. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right ball joint, left ball joint, and then this thing will be flawless, guys. That's uh, pretty remarkable. Okay, guys, I'm back here in the office, and I'm just going through the records <clears throat> on this 300 SD. And when I was doing the inspection, I was wondering why the uh, brake calipers look so nice, because they looked original, and I see right here... Uh, caliper repair kit front and rear there we go so and I noticed all the brake calipers were removed disassembled and resealed so that's fantastic because normally I put brand new Ate brake calipers on these cars and uh, but these have been taken apart and a reseal kit has been added and they've been reassembled so that's fantastic um, I see there's the auxiliary fan valve cover gasket um, hood pad. Oh, and then they, they also, the rheostat or the dimmer switch on the uh, dash actually dims the lights. And I see right here, that's because they replaced it. So this car has been very well serviced. Um, there's brake pads, fuel sending unit. They put a new fuel sending unit in it. Normally I remove those and have to clean them out. Um, and then I, I went through the rest of these uh, from Star Motors. And uh, these are all just oil filter services like that. So that's great. I don't have to install new uh, new brake calipers. So immaculate service history. Okay, then right here, here is the um, the tires, and you cannot buy the Michelin Defenders anymore. And I see uh, right here. There's the invoice date, um, 2020, and that was like the last year you could get these Michelin Defenders. And so they're only three years old, and they're literally brand new. Uh, so I don't think I want to replace the tires. I'll inspect them, but these were the best tires you could get on these cars. And uh, I may just keep these tires because they have no mileage on them, and they're only three years old. So, yeah, guys, clearly this is the nicest <clears throat> 300 SD I've ever seen. 33,000 miles. I'm going to do some, I mean, very minor maintenance. I'm going to do the ball joints just because I don't like when the boots on the ball joints are cracked. And on the original ball joints, it's always like that. So I'm going to go ahead, change those out, and then take it out for a test drive. I don't, I don't think there's anything else that I'm going to need to do on this car. You know, I'll do all the fluids, filters, and all that. Uh, but I have the service history, and they were just done last year. And the car hasn't been driven but like a few hundred miles since last year. Uh, so those fluids are probably still good. But just because it's been a year, I'm going to go ahead and change everything. And uh, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one where I'm doing the ball joints. Take care.